three, two, one. Hello, my name is David. I am a uh, senior uh, member of the s staff team. I am a junior admin. Today, we're going to be conducting your interview. Are you ready to begin? Yes. Okay. What is your definition of fail RP? Uh, fail role play. Fail role play to me. Um, I believe fail role play is when someone does not abide by the role playing rules in which, like, we enforce. And like, for example, if like we enforce that, like our top role is to professionally drive or something, and they're driving all over the place and not going anywhere, then that's one of my definitions. And uh, okay, perfect. Uh, are you ready for the next question? Yep. What is the definition of a uh... RDM. RDM? Um, to me, RDM, it's random death match of, like, do you just... For, just I'm just going to give you examples. If you want, um, you if can, you, yes. Yeah, if you just, like, walk up to someone, like, no chat, you've never met them before, and just shoot them and kill them or something, then I'd say that's counted as RDM. But there's a lot more... Things that can be counted as RDM. So. Okay, what's your? Are you ready for the next question? Yeah. What's your definition of a uh, VDM? VDM, vehicle death match is kind of like when you start kind of a little like war, not a war, just like let's say a fight between your car and you're like hitting things with your car, hitting people with your car for no reason at all. Just using your car to, um, using your car as a deadly weapon, let's say. Okay, perfect. Are you ready for the next question? Yeah. Uh, what is your definition of metagaming? Metagaming? Yeah. I, I've never heard of that before, to be honest. I've never heard of metagaming. Have you heard is it of like... power? Have you heard of power gaming? Power gaming, no. Okay, I'll give you the definition for both of them. Uh, power uh, metagaming is going to be used for inside, basically using inside game, basically using things in the game that aren't accessible to ac accessible. Allow everyone can't use it basically, such as oh. using in-game source equipment that not everyone would use, making the van making the fight or scene unfair. Uh, using outside information to better oh, okay. your RP. And power gaming is using streaming devices to watch your other component, opponent and use like, basically outside sources to better your RP. Oh, such okay. as using information that wouldn't be accessible to everyone. Alright. Are you ready for the next question? Yep. Uh, what what ranks can do animal RP and Hitman RP? What ranks can do Hitman RP? Yes. Um, uh, I'd s wait. So, are you talking about um admin ranks or just in like general? Any rank? What ranks do you think can do it? Um. I would I'm sorry. Uh I would I would probably say this is my this is my um uh, what I think. I honestly think that just a basic mod should be able to because if a normal civilian is just able to be a hitman or something they could like mess things up and it could pro possibly come out as rdm if mods don't know the story about it but mods they know what they're doing and know what's counted rdm and not rdm okay are you ready for the actual answer yeah i'm probably wrong but anybody civilian class 3 plus can do it and diamond donator plus can do it 
Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, do, 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 are you ready for the next question? Yep. What would you do if there's people uh, spamming racial slurs in chat? Um, just like racial slurs ter t towards one person or just around the whole server? J j just posting in chat the most ungodly things. <laughs> um, I would probably start off with a, uh, a kick. And if they join back, keep doing it. I would probably like go up and ask someone what I should do because... Or I would probably ban them if I had the right amount of, like, I'm trying to think of the word. Um, let's just say, if they just keep continuously joining back and spamming racial slurs, I would probably, probably be a ban. Okay, do you want the, do you want the answer to that question? Yeah. Just ban them. Okay, so no kick, just straight ban. Yep, <laughs> just a perma okay. ban instantly. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I let you go for that one because it's kind of right. You should do it in steps, but you know, if they come back and they do it again, it's you know they can't do it again if they're perma banned. Yeah. Are you ready for the next question? Yes. Uh, uh, what would you do if you seen another staff member GTA driving in game, such as bashing through poles and stuff in a very public area? Um, I would probably reach out to a higher rank admin because I, um, would well. It depends on what rank they are. If they're a lower rank than me, I would go talk to them and ask them about it. But if they're a higher rank than me, I would probably go to higher ups and ask them how I would deal with it. And if they wanted to step in and go with um, that. Okay, yeah. That answer is right in a normal like setting but the way we do it in server is uh, anybody any we can't punish any staff member unless you hold the title of head admin or um manager plus sadly oh because the, the, and there's we, a reason for that want corrupt apps, though. yeah so basically here's the reason for that because the only people that can become management plus has to be voted and then have three quoted three quotes from somebody else stating why they should become staff so basically what you do is you clip it make a ticket and report staff will management plus will deal with it and the reason why they have it like that obviously because they're not going to let any admins or senior moderators deal with it because it's just it's a really dangerous subject basically so like if the wrong staff gets banned that like with management plus that are, you're not going to be fucking up like you're basically going to have everything in order if you're going to be banning kicking or doing anything that's why only they can do it yeah so yeah we just clip it we can't we can't punish staff in any way only ma uh only management plus okay i think senior mods might be senior admin might be able to do something but i think it's only management plus Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Got a little in debt to that, but I want to make sure that you're doing the proper things because. No, you're fine. It may surprise people when you hear that you actually can't do anything about other staff members. You just have to report it. Okay. Uh, if you're in the server and you and there's no admin calls, what would you do as a staff member? As a staff member, I'd probably just um drive around. Uh, so, what I would do, just kind of patrol in a car. Well, not patrol, like a police patrol. Just, like, drive around and try to make sure everybody's role-playing. Make sure everybody's appropriately driving. Make sure there's no RDMing, VDMing, anything like that going on around, like, the most populated areas in the server. Or anywhere in the server at all. Okay, perfect. 
Uh, what would you do if somebody was self-advertising that they're another server in our server in game? Another server? Like if they just like first time joining the server, advertising they, they their join server? the server. Come join DOJRP. We have LEO vehicles and police lighting. <laughs> Something weird. Probably, it would probably be a ban. Perfect. Are you ready for the next question? Yep. Uh, what would you do if somebody RDM'd another person in front of you? RDM another person in front of them? Um, yeah. I'd probably, um, freeze them. We have a freeze tool, right? Like, you can yeah. freeze a player? Yeah, we do. Yeah, I'd probably freeze them so they couldn't like shoot anybody else or not shoot just like rdm anybody else and i question them on why they just want to kill people if they why they're in the server why they're in the role play server if all they want to do is just kill people get an explanation and it'd probably be a kick okay perfect okay with that being said are you okay with becoming a staff trainee yes Okay, that's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and drag you out. We're doing a training after this. It will not take any longer than 20 minutes for the training. Oh, but... yeah. I have all day. I have all day, so take your time. Yeah, so it takes about 10 minutes per interview, so it'll only okay. be about... It, it also depends on the person. All right, I'll drag all you right. down there. Wait around.